It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Magic Rock Brewing Company. And this is a can of their Dark Arts Chocolate Orange Surreal Stout. Coming in at 6% ABV. There's a look at the, the can. There's a couple of things I want to talk about here. Uh, the first thing, first of all though, first and foremost, 440 milliliter can. Nice artwork on the can. I'm going to get this out into a glass and see what we get first and foremost. But the things I want to talk about, and that is, first of all, I want to start off by talking about Asda, where I purchased this beer. Ooh. I was looking then to see if it was going to develop a head on the beer. It looks okay, actually. Looks okay. Right, so I picked this up in Asda. Now, Asda are a supermarket that, for me, and I think they're quite happy for me to say this, they sit just above Aldi and Lidl, and they sit just below Morrison's and Tesco in terms of where they place themselves in the market. <clears throat> Some will say that they've kind of boxed themselves in because... You can either spend a little bit more money and go to Tesco and Sainsbury's and Morrison's or you can spend a little less and go to Lidl and Aldi. And I think I would prefer to go to Lidl and Aldi um, because for me, I just think that, that, that this stuff is better in Lidl and Aldi. I very rarely shop in Asda. Uh, not because I used to work there and like history there, nothing to do with that. I just find that Apart from finding the odd beer, which is pretty good, and you might find the odd, like, Christmas dinner pot noodle, which I bought last Monday and reviewed on the channel. That's there if you want to see it. Then I'm not really kind of going down and I'm not spending, like, 50, 60, 70 pounds a week on shopping. But the reason why I'm talking about this is because, um, as I say, as they sit themselves just above Lidl and Aldi, and they've priced their beers at that level as well. If you go now to Morrison's and Tesco's, what you'll find with the canned craft beers, the 440 milliliter cans, is that when you get to about 6% ABV, maybe slightly higher, then you're starting to pay £3.50 for the beer, for a can of beer. What I noticed with Asda whilst I was there yesterday picking up this can from Magic Rock is that everything's £3. Everything is £3, and if you buy three cans, you get the fourth free. So they've priced themselves, if you think about the pricing of Lidl and Aldi's beer, if you think about the pricing of Tesco and Morrison's beer, they've priced themselves in the middle of all of that lot. They're slightly above Lidl and Aldi, they're slightly below Tesco and Morrison's. So, I'm not very good with maths, I used to be very good with maths, but if they're £3 a can and the fourth beer is three, free, what are we saying? Maybe if I took a guess, £2.25 a can? If, if you're taking that kind of third third can free, that, that one can free. But but anyway, you can see where I'm going with this. Um, so immediately when I bought this beer, when I poured it out into the glass, I was looking at the quality of the beer. I wanted to know if you do buy four, let's say three pound a can, what you're getting for your three pound a can. Now it had a one finger tan colored head. It's jet black beer in the glass, um, slow moving carbonation. There's no light bleeding through the glass whatsoever. Let's get the aroma. It smells kind of stout-like. With like an orange oil. Like a, like a Terry's chocolate orange, orange oil infused into the beer. But you are getting some kind of cocoa powder, some like maybe Cadbury's hot chocolate powder too. So it's a mixture of hot chocolate powder and a, a Terry's chocolate orange in terms of that kind of orange oil infusion. Little bit of roasted malt, but it's more about the adjuncts in the beer. But of course, being called a, a, a chocolate orange stout, of course, it's all about the adjuncts anyway. It smells good. Let's dive into this one then. Cheers. I 
I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm actually quite happy with that. I think Magic Rock have been quite restrained in in what they've produced here. There's definitely roasted malt, which I'm really pleased about. Actually, the more the flavour is developing in my pa in my mouth on my palate, the more I'm enjoying the beer. There's a lovely rolling bitterness that's just coming from the roasted malt. And I really like that about the beer. And I'm going to say now, after one taste, after reviewing the taste for 20 seconds, stone the crows. Stone the crows. This is exactly what I want from a chocolate orange stout. I want that cocoa powder chocolate to begin with. I want that orange oil there too. But also, I don't want to forget that it's a stout. I want to be remembered that it's a stout. I want to be kind of, I want to be tasting those roasted malts in the beer. And I am. I really am. I really like this. Now, on Friday, I reviewed Max and Spencer's Vocations, if you watched it, um, Black Forest Stout. And I think I released it Monday morning. I have, I've released it this morning. Monday morning was re release day of that. And I gotta be honest with you, I poured that beer away. I didn't like it, didn't like it at all. Um, I understood the Black Forest bit about it. It should have been sweet to begin with, but there was no, from Vocation Brewery, there was no bitterness whatsoever. There was no, there's nothing screaming at me saying, this is a stout. This has roasted malt, it's a stout. What I find fantastic about this beer from Magic Rock Brewing Company is they're doing everything, absolutely everything, that it says on the tin. There's a little bit of cocoa powder with the chocolate. There's a little bit of orange oil for the orange. And it's a stout. It's a stout, so you're getting lovely roasted bitterness coming through. A little bit of chocolate and coffee and caramel. In terms of mouthfeel, for a 6% ABV beer, that's not bad either. That really isn't that bad. Have a look now as I roll the beer around in the glass. Have a look at that. <clears throat> look at the way that head's redeveloping in the glass. Look at the way as you rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head up the glass. That's, that's a good quality stout. And I think if you just bought one can of this, if you just paid three pound for this, I say just. I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't say just because three pounds a lot of money for some people to put to spend on a beer. Um, so excuse me for my just there. Um, if you if you spent three pound on this beer, then you're going to be quite surprised. I think you're going to be happy. It ticks a lot of boxes. This it ticks a lot of the a lot of what it's saying on the can. It, it, it's doing what it's saying on the can. I'm going, to, I'm going to mention it one more time. That vocation of Max and Spencer's Black Forest Stout was all Black Forest kind of sweetness and there was no bitterness there whatsoever. I couldn't drink it. It was, it was overly sweet and very, very rare for vocation that I'll pour a beer away, but I poured it away. I didn't like it. This, on the other hand, I'm going to drink it all. I'm going to drink all of this. It's a beautiful stout. Now, before I rate it, I want to say one more thing, and I was going to say it earlier on. Now, a lot of people will know that uh, Magic Rock were bought out a number of years ago. Uh, they were in the same kind of group as Four Pure, um, Voodoo Ranger IPA, um, New Belgium Brewing. They were in that same group of companies. Um, and then some of you will know that Probably early summer, late spring, early summer, Magic Rock was sold off. Um, I can't remember the name of the company. Maybe it was, was it Constantine Brands or something like that? They were sold off. So my question here is, is this the first beer 
commercially available. I'm sure they've done small stuff at their brewery, but is this the first commercially available beer in a national supermarket that has been brewed by this new company? And is this thing, is this things to come? Is this what we can expect in the future? Because if it is, I'll be very happy. There was a few beers that Magic Rock brought out under the previous company, which I wasn't happy about. I just didn't think they were the Magic Rock of all. I didn't think they were that terrific company that they once were. I thought that they, they, went, they went into an almost terrible direction in the craft beer industry where they were making really bland beer. This is the first beer that I've tried under this new company, if indeed if it is this new company. And the signs are, the signs are that they're going in the right direction. Look at this beer. Look at the quality of the beer. It's a stout, it's roasty, it's toasty. There's a bit of chocolate, there's a bit of orange. That's fine, because it says so on the tin. That's perfect, I really like that. I really, really like that beer. Um, if you're buying that under offer, buy three, get your fourth can free, then you're paying something like £2.25 a can. I think that's an absolute steal. It's an absolute steal. If you're paying £1.79 in Lidl, and if you're paying £3.50 in Tesco, and if you're in Asda, you're paying between £2.25 and £3 a can, I think they, they, I think Asda might have hit the that lovely middle ground. You know that where where the people who don't have much money, me included, we might stretch ourselves. We might go actually, I, I fancy something really nice tonight, and I'm going to treat myself. You know, and then and then there's the other end of the market where they got some surplus cash to spend they may have watched this review and they've gone actually i've not had a magic rock beer for a while i'll dip my toes and i'll buy two or three cans of that rating lovely mouthfeel this, this i'm standing here thinking of something bad to say about the beer and quite frankly there's nothing bad to say the price is right the beer is right i was a bit Picking this up, I was a bit kind of like, mm. I was a bit like chocolate orange stout, what's this going to be? I was a bit nervous, but I shouldn't have been nervous because Magic Rock have pulled this off. I like it. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.